Hi, my name is Shelby and I'm part of the MCU ecosystem team at NXP. This video is part of a series showing you how to build your first application with Segger's AppWizard tool. In this step, we'll be adding two buttons to our application. We're going to be using PNG files to give our buttons a customized look, so we need to start by importing them, just like we did with our background image. Go to the lower left corner and click Images. Click Add, and then you'll be able to select which images you would like to import. Now that we've imported our images, we can add our first button. Go to the Objects panel and click Button. This will add one to your screen. Now we can change the properties of the button. The first thing we want to do is give it a uni unique identifier. This is going to be the up button, so I'll call it ID button up. Then we want to set the images that will be displayed for our button when it's pressed and unpressed. Go to set bitmaps, and we'll start by selecting the unpressed version of the button. If we scroll down, we can select the image that we previously imported. Now we can do the same for the pressed version of our button. Now we need to change the size and position of the button. This can be done in the editor or by using the properties panel. Now that we've added the up button, we can follow the same steps to add our down button. So we want to add a second button. This one is going to be called ID button down. And then we're going to select our unpressed and pressed images. And we can go and change the size. Now that both of our buttons have been added, we can see them in the simulator. When we open it up, you can see that when the button is pressed, the pressed image is displayed, and when it's unpressed, the unpressed images are displayed. So that is how you add buttons to your application using AppWizard. If you'd like to learn more about Segger's M1 graphics library and AppWizard, or you need to download AppWizard, visit nxp.com slash mwin graphics library. We can't wait to see what you create next.